Mount Teapot. I hate Mount Teapot. I hate it. It's such a charming name. You think it'd be kind of like cute, you know? But no, it's actually like the worst place ever to ever exist. I hate it. I know I was saying earlier, it's not really the worst place I've ever been in a video game. But no, I I shouldn't be talking that way, because no, I hate it. It's awful. It's a dreadful, awful place with nothing good in it. It's a terrible, terrible place. No wonder these pirates made their headquarters on this, on this island, because this island is so horrible, no one would ever think to look for them there. You know, it's a complete no-man's wasteland. Even though this music makes it sound like we're in some place pretty and magical. Well, sorry to, you know, to break it to you, but we're not. We're in the worst place ever. I don't need that block. We can get another one of those later. Another jet cap later. We'll get it later. We'll get that... No! We'll get that one, you know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, why'd they... See, they left these landmines here. You know, Wario, you don't have to pick them up when you touch them. There's no, like, physical law of reality that says you gotta touch them. In fact, on the- No! We- Didn't we already take that one out? Ugh. Criminy. Hey, do these two doors on either side, do they lead to a different place? Oh, no, there's not a door on this side. There's just one of these. Wah! Oh. I'll say it again, Wario has his legs, they're legs of steel. Oh, wait, we can take those guys, we can take those guys out permanently, huh? Good. Uh, I'll try and do that always from now on, take out the bomb pelicans. But you just know there's going to be a puzzle at some point where, like, you need the bomb pelicans and there's no way to solve it without one of them around spewing out bombs because you need bombs to solve the puzzle. Maybe you have to be little Wario or something, and then when you're little Wario, you need to break some blocks, and of course the only way you're gonna do that is with one of the bombs, the bomb pelicans views. In fact, that means the mines they're using are actually just pelican vomit, doesn't it? I mean, I know that for birds, regurgitating things isn't that unusual, but still, it is for me. I'm not a bird. My mother never vomited into my mouth because I'm not a bird. I'm glad I'm not a bird. Being a bird would be terrible. Some people really like birds, actually. I don't. I don't understand why anyone would particularly like birds. They're just kinda... weird and... You know, they're covering those feather things. I mean, we're covering hair, but imagine me covering feathers. That's just weird. Doesn't seem natural. What's up with... So, birds, they have feathers. What's up with that? Okay, just jet against the current. Come on, Wario. It's a metaphor for this entire video game. Because the Wario, Wario Land as a series goes against normal video game design conventions. It's going against the current of Mario. The Mario current. We've all been there, am I right? On the Mario current show? With Mario Man? Oh, darn it. Huh. We're gonna have to wait for this guy to get all the way across, aren't we? Actually, no we don't. There we go. Much better. And the alternate exit was up here, right? Yeah. The one to Sherbet Land. That was a whole- that's actually quite a daring thing, having an entire world you can only get to through a secret exit. Not worth that money game right now. 69 coins is a pretty good harvest. And I don't want to lose it. If we got, say, 20 coins, then it might be worth it. Uh, Wait, I noticed that Wario appeared to have cut down a tree to climb up the mountain. It's kind of a nice touch, I think. Alright. Now, I also remember this level because of that music. 
Makes it sound like we're in some beautiful, you know, magical place, doesn't it? Which is another odd thing about the Wario, about this, this game, is like the music. Wario Land, or well, Wario Land 2, Mario Land 2 also had really weird music. Now, admittedly, Wario Land 2 probably does also, but I wouldn't know, because I haven't played that one. I played the Wario Land Shake It on the Wii, and the Wario Land 4, and the Wario Land 3. Not in that order, though. In fact, in, like, the opposite order. And, like, exactly the opposite order of what I just said, in fact. Now, there was a secret in this stage I didn't find before. This is the stage I was thinking of, I think. Um, because I remember I found a key in this stage, and I could never figure out where to take it. Up here? No, that's just a checkpoint. But listen to this music. It's very odd music. It's not at all the normal, oh, this is a catchy tune I'm gonna, you know, have stuck in my head kind of music you normally expect from, say, a Mario game. It, it does resemble the kind of thing you might hear in Mario Paint, though, which I believe this has the same composer as that game, which is another Mario game that's a really weird game. I mean, arguably, it's not e No! Arguably, it's not even like a game, honestly. It's a some kind of software for painting. Drawing, making music, just kind of having a weird good time. In fact, this reminds me of that one, one of the secret... I think it was one of the secret tracks in that game. And that's the thing, it wasn't just like a kid's paint studio, you know? It was also just full of, like, weird... hidden stuff. It was full of secrets, so it was sort of like an adventure navigating Mario's art studio. Oh, here's where that hidden thing was. I saw that one block up here, and I got thinking, well, is there something up here? Yeah, there is. A huge hall and treasure. We just got to remember that it's on this platform, though. If we remember that, it's we're, you know we're sure to get the treasure because yeah, we're gonna get the treasure. This is we're doing really well, actually. I take back all the things I've been complaining about. I feel great now. Oh, by the way. Look at that block. It's not just angry, it looks like blood is pouring from its eyes. That's intense. Or from one of its eyes, anyway. Oh, a liar! These treasures actually do feel kind of magical. A liar? Some kind of... glass shield? It's not like in the later Wario Land games where the items would be like joke items. You know, he might get a remote control, and it would have some comical description. Which is cool, I like the comical descriptions, but I also like the sort of combination of Wario as a complete goofball, but he's also like... No! On a sincere, like, weird adventure. Like, there's a sincere element of going to, um, uh, Of getting real treasures on this adventure. They're not joke treasures. We're not getting, like, a stinky sock or something. Or golden poop, which is a popular one in, like, the... thing was that... I think there were a bunch of... Th that appeared a bunch of times in a WarioWare Gold. No, we're getting... magical harps and that kind of thing. I see there are a lot of those odd... pimple-looking growths on this mountain, and one of them is the one that's the big one that made it Mount Teapot, though. Because, mate, that's the spout. I remember I used to be a teapot, short and stout, with a faucet and a spout. Or it's a handle and a spout. A faucet and a spout's kind of redundant. Those were the days. Back when I was a teapot, I could just sit around, not even thinking about anything, not worried at all, you know? Just full of tea. Well, when they put tea in me. 
Sometimes I wasn't full of tea. In fact, most of the time. But I got my name, you know, they called me Larry Teapot, and I got that name from the times I did have the tea inside of me. Because that's what, I mean, that's what teapots usually do. Um, you always, I'm always, always always a little concerned, you know, you might be that if you're, if you're a teapot, like, do the teapots mind being full of hot water like that? Does it, say, hurt them? Or, you know, does it develop, say, some kind of, uh, body image issues in, in relation to that? And the answer is... No. Like, I see why you might be worried that that's the case, but it truly isn't. Let the stupid seahorse get out of our way. And now go in here and get all the coins. Including that one, yes. Wario would hardly be completing his, like, quest to be greedy. Now, would he, if he didn't get it all? I think that might have been the tagline of this game, actually, is greed is good. Which, in general, isn't true, but it's true here. Because everything's upside down in Wario Town. We can't crawl under there. Aw. Welcome to Wario Town! I guess Wario Town is really Diamond City. Well, he claims it's his city. I think in the original Wario, uh, WarioWare, he calls it, like, this, like, it's my gem of a city, as if it, he owns it, when we can see that he's really just some weirdo who a lot of people in town know. Probably because he's a weirdo. And also probably, like, a wanted criminal. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, we need the uh, garlic in order to get down under the mountain the mountain summit here and get these items. I guess it really is sort of pretty, you know, alone on this mountain peak. In the, in the depths of night. Even if it is a hostile island, you know, maybe this beautiful view that we get up here, maybe that makes it all worth it in a way. But probably not. I still hate this place. This is an awful place. Wario, you picked a horrible vacation spot because everyone here wants to kill you. But then again, it's pretty normal for you, isn't it? Wow, it really looked like that that was gonna hit him, but it didn't. Like I said, the game is inconsistent about everything. We can't break these blocks because they're underwater? Well, that's a shame. I mean, I know that that guy might have made a short Wario again, but no! I take it all back. I hate this mountain. I hate its guts, and I wish that it didn't exist. I want to freaking bulldoze this mountain. I hate this island. I hope that in the end, Wario blows it up. It's awful. It's the worst place ever. It's worse than hell. Because at least in hell, there's some kind of, there's some kind of meaningful metaphor to your sufferings. You know, there's an ironic punishment kind of deal going on. What's there going on here? Nothing. Nothing but meaningless pain. The dross of suffering. Meaningless agony. Pointless. There's nothing to anything here. It's just like a void. A void full of nothing. But we might as well get some coins, you know, while we're here, honestly. Right? I mean... We're here to get money. In fact, maybe that's what's going on. Maybe this is Wario's ironic hell for being so greedy. Maybe at the end of Super Mario Land 2, Mario actually killed Wario, and the rest of his games are Wario in this surreal nightmare purgatory world. Nah, probably not. That's probably not what Nintendo was going for. No. Hit this block. There we go. Probably wasn't worth it, but it is good to have one-ups. I mean, we're not gonna be, you know, short on them anytime soon. Look how many we have. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm not gonna get the... This game makes me want to pull my... Damn hair out. I hate this. This is all- Yeah, apparently I don't. I'm doing this to myself. <sighs>
I guess that the- I guess at heart, the point of this series is to show us how excessive attachment to material possessions, you know, excessive greed is not good. It's an ironic tagline. This is about how greed causes nothing but suffering. Because if War- if Mario- if Wario here is getting any pleasure out of this, or if I am, I'm certainly not noticing it. Ugh. All right, Wario, let's go through here. Oh, my nose itches. I mean, I guess Wario's in even worse shape. He's like soaked with sweat, but he's also underwater. I mean, imagine how uncomfortable he is. I'd say he's gonna reek, but I'm pretty sure he does normally, you know? I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal to him. I just need to be patient on the starry summit. A little bit patient is all it'll take. See, why does that bird dive for us and not, say, for one of these crabs? I mean, I figure that it would eat these crabs, you know? Because it's a bird? And I'm not gonna fall into that pit, no siree. Is it really worth it? I mean, we're actually getting, like, a decent harvest of coins here, but it's worth it because I already did it anyway. And I'm not gonna go back on that decision because I can't. It's too late now to go back on that decision. There's... At least with this, we can take out these horrible little crabs now. I'm avenging the last time I was here. I'm avenging myself. Now, I know that they normally, you know, avenge other people. But let's be honest, is Wario the kind of guy who's gonna avenge other people? No, he's not. I mean, I don't know, he probably has a sincere emotional attachment to someone. Maybe Waluigi, even if he's still a sleazebag who doesn't let Waluigi appear in his games. Because, I don't even know why. What reason is there for it, Wario? There is no good reason. You just do the things you do because you're, like, a maniac. You're a lunatic. You're completely disconnected from reality. I mean, that's what Wario is known for, you know? He really is, he's sort of like the crazy man of the Mario series cast. If you need a character to just do something wild and weird, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Wario, you know? It's hard to find a better fit for him. Ugh. No! Oh no. Hey, bird, come on! I'm trying to call you over here, you filthy bird. Oh, garlic, thank goodness. You see, it's the di- One clove of garlic is all that lies between you and being, like, freaked out, you know? In, uh, Mother 2, Mr. Liar Exaggerate, as he's called in the English version, says that he eats garlic every day to become big and strong. I didn't realize how big a deal that was until right now. You know, how much garlic can really do. Like, eating a clove of garlic or not completely makes the difference in- Maybe it's not- maybe Wario's size change isn't a literal physical change, but it's metaphorical of how he perceives himself. It- it, like, really is a self-esteem and confidence boost when he eats garlic. Maybe if I just- you see, I put garlic in, like, all my cooking. But maybe if instead of- of doing that, what I started to do was, for example, uh, take garlic. Like, just eat raw garlic cloves every day, I would begin developing the self-confidence Wario has. I certainly don't have self-confidence, that's my main problem. Well, I mean, that's my main problem in like every other thing. You know, no, let's take- I want to leave Teapot Mountain and it's asparagus forest, but we can't now, can we? No, because we're gonna have to go back here. <sighs> let's go. Now we're inside the mountain. And they have this, like, scary music playing. No! In a way, I'm gonna say that this mountain is more dangerous than Mount Sherbet. Just throwing that out there, you might disagree. Um, and you might also be wrong. You see, the difference is here, we're underwater, um, and there are, like, lots of seahorse monsters everywhere. And to be fair, I guess it makes sense this place would be more dangerous than Mount Sherbet, because I suppose, strictly speaking, Mount Sherbet is an earlier level. No! You... you might be wondering, like, how I keep making these careless mistakes. Well, let me tell you something, audience, of, like, the... I don't... I mean, I don't have an audience. 
even when this is up in like a million years, my audience is gonna be like two people. I like have, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna be like an audience that watches the videos. They're gonna be an audience that like puts them on for a second and likes them, be, you know, to be nice, which I do appreciate. Please keep doing that. But come on, this is just absurd because, you know, what do I have to gain? It's like, like listen, the problem is what I was about to say, okay, is that I have, like, my microphone is blocking most of the screen. I can't see like a good chunk of it. That's why I didn't see that spike nose guy, is because of this stupid microphone. I lost the old stand though that could you I could use so it doesn't block the screen. Now you might be saying, well, macrophones, why don't you just like not play the darn game with this microphone in the way? Why do you have to record commentary? And you know what? You're right, I don't. It's like a weird, almost pathological compulsion that I apparently have. Maybe I'm more like Wario than I thought. Maybe, maybe I am just some kind of pathological weirdo. You know, Wario's a loner. He doesn't have friends. He doesn't know how to form relationships with people. He's exactly like me. And I'll even have his same body type in a few years. I mean, if I lift weights every day. Like, I'll get fat, I mean, but I won't probably have really muscular arms that can, like, break through solid stone. Um... Unless I really start lifting a lot of weights. And I guess he also has really good legs because he can jump really high. You know? I'll need to start... Like, he does some kind of exercises, clearly. Like, how does he have such a huge gut if he must exercise so much? Certainly no core exercise. I mean, that's the main thing. I don't want the jet hat. I'll come back if I need it. I'm not even worried about that time limit. We have so much time in these stages, it almost doesn't even matter that there's a time limit. It's like a vestigial remnant of Mario Land. It's still like lingering here. Like a vestigial tail. And you know they have that old phrase, something like embryology recapitulates phylogeny or something like that. It's not, that's not, it's like the development of the em embryo. Well, it's like that, like, you know, so the embryo develops and it has gills, so we know that at some point down the line there was like a, you know, we were fish. Um, and it's like that, that's what the time limit is. It's just a vestigial... Hold on, though. I do want this because there's a treasure here. This is something else I remember. This was a relatively easy to get a hold of treasure. It's basically not even hidden. It's just sort of up here. And I'm fine with that, you know? I'm glad that it's not hidden. I like getting a hold of treasures. If you want to know the truth. The issue is, up here we have one chance to throw it across the pit. You know, we fail. And that's that! We didn't fail. Because we're not going to get it back up once it falls into that pit, I don't think. And if we did, it would probably take all 230 whatever seconds there are. Alright, let's go through your gaudy giant skull door. These pirates have, like, no sense of decor, do they? No class whatsoever. Then again, I guess they're just as prone to ostentatious displays of wealth as Wario. So wait, so we miss treasure A? Okay, that must be the treasure I remember missing from the first time I tried the, the last time I tried the game anyway, which was also the first time. Um, that treasure I missed on Rice Beach, it must be like related to that. Oh. Okay, come on, Wario, just get up here, come on. Yeah, whatever, put it in there, who even cares? Pay the toll to these darn pirates, we're gonna steal it all back anyway with any luck. No! Go down! I need to get the coins! You stupid robot! Here we go! I'm picking these coins up with my forehead, which is specially attuned with magnets to attract coins. That doesn't even sound like Wario mackerel phones, I know! You know what doesn't even sound like Wario? You, wait, you know what doesn't even sound like a thing? The sound we hear when we pick up these coins. Let me tell you, I've picked up a lot of coins in my day-to-day -day life. Um, and they don't sound like this. This isn't what I hear when I pick up a coin. You know, maybe I'm the- Okay, here we go. Maybe I'm the crazy one, I don't know. I do like this. This is what I'm here for. 
Now we don't want to charge blindly and fall into that pit of lava, which is just insidiously placed, as you can see. Hey. Oh, we missed the coin. Darn it, we missed so many coins. So, here's more of that bad architecture. These pirates don't know how to build a thing. They couldn't build something to save their darn lives. I'm gonna gamble. I know that it's very odd, the coins that- See, like, look at that coin up there, it doesn't have the cross. Maybe the coins that have the cross on them are actually just worth a greater sum of money than the normal dash coins? Yeah, we're getting out of here. I hate seeing Wario looking that sad. I mean, he, he should, but... All right, come on, Wario, whatever. Let's get to the freaking caves at the base of this. This is horrible. This place is horrible. You know, I admit there was a strong temptation to throw that spike nose guy. Just like... Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, I want to throw the spike nose guy into the bird. There we go, because... The bird... Oh, I lost that big... No! I didn't lose those coins. I see the plus coins are 10 coin coins versus the normal dash coins that we that Mario usually picks up, which are, at the end of the day, only, um, uh, one coin coins. I wonder if they've been consistent with that in all the Mario games. I'm sure they have. You know, Mario is well known, as I've often talked about, for its highly political world building. I feel kind of bad that I killed that, uh, you know, coin pooping bird. Wario is a big fan of coins and poop. One, because it's hilarious, and the other because it's valuable. Of course, what's hilarious is coins, because it's an arbitrary value system that we've assigned to them, and yet it dictates whole lives and ruins people, morally and financially. Anyway. Uh, so, do you think they naturally have spike noses, or is it an augmentation? Is it a body augmentation like you see in Deus Ex? Yeah, this is like a pirate boo. But it's still a very weak enemy, honestly. I mean, compare that to a normal boo. Pathetic. Clearly, it was the like a particularly like loser reject kind of boo. And we can't get to that because we don't have the jet cap kind of boo who ended up joining uh, the Black Sugar Gang. I mean, then again, these guys are probably only criminals because society has screwed them over. They have no choice. You know, people don't become robbers just because they're bad people inherently or some nonsense. Of course, we're still going to kill these duck pirates. Kind of makes me wonder, if you were a duck pirate, what would you sound like? Would you sound like Donald Duck? Saying, like, a vast matey? A vast matey. I can't do Donald Duck's voice. I do hope that my attempt at it will, uh, you know, it was AS, ASMR, my t attempt at doing Donald Duck's voice. Very worth it. Anyway, I just really murdered those guys. Like, they fell into lava. They're, like, ultra-murdered. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, the stage doesn't end with a normal goal. It ends with us putting the flying spaceship aircraft lid back on top of the mountain. We have 81 coins. That's worth not losing them. It's incremental, I know, but we're going to get a lot of coins by the end of this. You'll see. We'll buy our own castle with our golden Princess Peach statue. Anyway, here we're going to fight Big Bull, I think is his name. Which is an appropriate name because it's an accurate description of uh, how some of these challenges feel. I don't know, that was a bit crude. I mean, the thing is, if Wario were a real guy, he would love that kind of joke. Come on, you know he would. But the thing is, he's not a real guy, and Nintendo is not going to have him, like, you know, saying swear words. Now, are they? No. I mean, it's not saying a swear word, it's sort of like alluding to one, but you know what I mean. It's like, in WarioWare Gold, Wario says, like, Next, like, compared to me. You're all number two. Get it off! 
How is I how do you get those off? It seems to be like random chance if it will stop clinging to you. I mean, it's very disheartening is what I'm trying to get at here. Like we could be overturning these darn crabs at this point if only we had not gotten hit by the bomb. Now, admittedly, just sort of walking off a blast of a bomb is something I feel a lot of people, um, you know, wish they could do. Get up there! Okay, that's good. This is what we want. No, we don't... We want to get Wario. There we go, Wario. Now you're doing good. Oh, actually, what's in here? Another health item. Yeah, I remember this uh, boss, though. Unlike the Sherbet Mountain thing, which is all new to me, let me tell you what, it sure is new to me. Um, oh, there's gonna be something up here. Gonna be a heart piece, right? Yeah. They're not really heart pieces. They're not pieces of heart. They're not gonna give us, like... They're not, we're not gonna be take more hit. What they're really doing, you know, is... Ugh. I don't even know. What am I talking about? Is there, like, a checkpoint in here? Yeah, there is. Do I really want to risk getting these coins here? Of course! I love coins! Anyway, let's go beat the boss. I can beat this guy in one go easy. He's not even a tough boss. I'll do it. I can deal with it. Whatever. And, of course, we've already, like, been through a very similar area to this one. Um, yeah, and then there's... Oh, I should have uh, taken the upper roads, actually. There's probably was something up there, wasn't there? Yeah, I should have taken the upper roads. Well, if I uh, return to this level, I will. In fact, can I just go up here? I don't think the thwomp... Yeah, the thwomp, I don't think, chases me this way. In any case, I'm... Yeah, it goes this way. I just totally lost my opportunity, is what I'm saying. Here he is. No! I believe it's now impossible to hurt him. I mean, it's like very difficult for him to hurt me, admittedly. But like, that's the thing I hate about these bosses, is it like, you get hit once and you can't, it's literally impossible to beat them at this point. What I just did was the only choice, because if you get hit once, you can't beat it. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, fine, you bloody Wario. We'll go through here again. I mean, honestly, I do prefer this boss to that... Wasn't there, like, a game... Yeah, in Wario World, there was a boss that was, like, a giant, like, bull guy in, like, a Speedo, right? No, it was a... No, it was a giant... Yeah, there was, there was. I was thinking there was a giant lizard woman in a bikini, and that was also a boss. But, there was also the, um, giant lizard man. Or, the like, the bull man. That was also a boss, I think. Good. Not good that that was a boss, I mean, good that we took that... the bomb fly out. Hut! There we go. Okay, so everything is already going better. I'm not sure how what I just did caused this, uh, that particular shell to be overturned, though. Because isn't it, like, on a different... Like, what I just did that on was not even on the, the land, right? Well, no! <sighs> no! So there was a time when people found, like, horrible garbage fun, huh? I mean, I guess there was a time that that stupid game D was considered, like, a good game that got good reviews, when it's honestly probably one of the worst video games ever made. Not that that diminishes my interest in its sequel D2 any, but... Well, whatever. Uh, we can still beat the big bull guy with this. I mean, not as easily. I would prefer to just have the bull hat, honestly. Because with that... Oh, and I guess we're gonna have it. Because with that bull hat, it's like we're fighting the bull with with a bull. It's only it's like the right way to do it. Actually, maybe that's what I should be calling it. It's like a bull cap, isn't it? Because it looks like a bull. 
Down we go! Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, that's what I should have done all along, isn't it? Oh, and I can't even keep going. Oh, and I could have gotten this in here anyway. Neat. So what does that mean? Like, what would have been up here on this higher ledge here? Yeah, it's not the, uh... Oh no, we're not gonna get through that way, it seems. Now, see, I feel like a real treasure hunting adventure man now. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that thwomp through. Why would I? It's not like it did that... It's not like it deliberately helped me. Hey, big bull. It's an angry guy and we beat him. Okay, get the coins, Wario. Get all of them. Don't let a single one of these... They're ten coin coins is the thing. Well, there are a few normal ones too, but... Look at the money pour in. We'll have a castle in no time. I feel like though, if Wario's going this far to get a castle, he's sort of lost sight of his goal. I all knew feels that way a little bit. Stove Canyon, huh? I guess it's called this because it's full of molten lava. Lethal, deadly lo- Oh God. This is bad. This is the worst place so far. By a wide margin. We're not gonna get any coins here because all our goal is gonna be to not die. Oh, key. I like this thing. This is what I wanna see. Well, honestly, it's not really, but um, I'll take it over certain other things. I might, no! Yeah, this island gets worse and worse. I am impressed. It started out as bad as can be, and then it just, like, is since then, like, once it's consistently done everything it can to be even worse than that. I probably missed a useful piece of garlic, didn't I? Piece of... They're coming clothes, they're not pieces of garlic. I mean, I don't know why you couldn't say a piece of garlic. Like, that still clearly gets the idea across, doesn't it? No, Mario, jump! No, no! I, this is awful. What a terrible place. I hate this. What an awful, tedious, irritating video game. Why did I like the other Wario lands so much? I guess because they learned to just not be this. Well, did they really, though? Okay, this is what we need. This is how we're going to get through this level quickly. Is with this. Like, this is what we needed to begin with. With this, we can get through here with some decent speed. No! Go! Run! Run as fast as you can, Wario. Oh, no. Well, it's not going to take us too long with this hat, honestly. And we're going to get a lot of coins in the process, but I wonder, was this low road really worth it? I mean, I guess the thing is, like, we're totally risking our lives this whole time anyway, so it's not exactly like, um... It's not exactly like... Like, the lava is that big of a difference, since at all times we're, like, on the brink of death anyway. Okay. No! Go through the door! I mean, the lava's gonna go through the door, but it's probably gonna be too polite for that. See, because the door is shut. It's not gonna be a jerk and- Oh, this is a building! Those look kinda like cackling smiles, don't they? Oh, I- I wish I'd gotten that key. Now it's gonna be like the hardest level ever because of that stupid key that I didn't get. Oh, no. Here we go! Just what I wanted, that. And away we go. Yeah, get the coins, take the coins. Let's keep going. Let's keep this show on the road, wary bro, man. Wario man's your superhero. You know, let's go back there, actually. I really do want to get that treasure. 
Come on, Wario, let's go get it. We can do it. We got through here pretty easily once we got the garlic. Of course, we're not going to be able to charge, are we? Once we... Well, whatever. Where was that anyway? That, uh... It was, like, down here, right? No, it wasn't. It was at a point that was like that, though. That, uh, that much I, I remember. It might have even been that... No, it wasn't that one! No! All right, we got the key. We're gonna get this, because it's gonna be our saving grace. Is this... darn invincibility thing. Ugh. No, climb down the ladder, Wario. Don't just sort of crouch near the ladder. That's not what I need you to do right now, Wario. No, get... Now grab the key again, and go back through the door, and don't die in lava. See? This is great. You only had to die several times in the service of getting this treasure. Isn't that so worth it? Most people only die once, you know. I guess lava just kind of knocks you out for a minute, though, right? Oh, a crystal ball! Pretty neat and magical. I would really do like the sort of magical quality a lot of these treasures have. Oh, E and F. Those must be treasures in Sherbet Land. I'll go back and get those two, I guess. Oh, I should go to bed. I'm gonna, like, never go to bed after this, because it'll, like, st I'll stay up the whole night. It'll all be because of Wario. Not at all because I don't have, like, self-control or something. What do you- why would you even imply that? You know, I got that treasure this time. Makes me feel lucky. Which one? Which Wario bucket? The left one. We had good luck with that last time. No! It's 50-50 chance, but it feels like the odds are severely stacked against us. I probably should have just gone again. Any coins I could have gotten out of that would have more than made up for the entire... the entire amount of coins lost. I gotta keep in mind these kind of... Uh, uh, Profit go goals from now on. Okay, Stove Canyon 2, here we go. This island is horrifying. Really, it is. This is a... This entire island is a non-stop death trap. You know, it feels like Mario runs through obstacle courses, right? It feels like Wario here is running through death traps. Whoa! Okay, Mario does deal with that kind of thing, too. Or has, anyway. I mean, he doesn't, like, deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? But then again, neither does Wario. I mean, this isn't, like, a normal day in Wario's life. This is, like, a weird, exceptional adventure he's having. A normal day is probably watching TV on the couch. Which is, admittedly, how Wario Master of Disguise starts, isn't it? Treasure! What the? Why isn't that affecting those blocks at all? It's weird. What's through here? No, I don't need that. I'll be fine. I mean, this isn't Mount Teapot, this is just a fiery hellscape. Way safer than Mount Teapot. Which was just, like, deadly. Le yeah, this is Lethal Lava Land, you know, I, I understand that. But, oh no. No! There we go, I was close. What are the- are these platforms attached to anything? They look like they're f levitating. I guess it's more like what's going on is that those, um, platforms... Right? They're like... It's a lighting thing. Like, the lighting makes it look like there's no bottom. When really, it's just very brightly lit! Oh, another one. Let's go! For money, I will go... You know, for money, M Wario will go to the ends of the Earth. He is a warped person. Whoa! What are those called? Padobos? Padaboos? Oh no! 
How could I have jumped into that like that? That was really careless. Hey, die. All right. In we go. See, that's the kind of level I'll probably never return to. I mean, it was pleasant enough. It was interesting seeing that archway. You know, those, like, archway bridges over the lava. Not sure who, why the pirates built that. Well, I guess to get around the canyon. And, uh, I'm glad we don't... Oh, I see. That, like, part of the map we just walked... The, the, the dots went over was what that level we just went to was. So this will be another level of bridges getting us to that next island in the, uh, canyon. See, like, look at that stone bridge. I mean, I said I didn't know why they built it, but I do know. They built it so they could navigate the island. Obviously. I would still don't know why Wario, um, lost his original cap, though. Like, what's the significance of that? Is there even any significance? It just seems like an odd choice to me. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have much luck actually elbowing any of these pirates. I feel like it's always gonna be more... more, they just die. You know? Just, just generally. Hey, pirate, you're gonna throw your weird sword orang? Oh, wait, I, I thought that was a solid piece of obstacle right there, but no. No, it wasn't. What's through here? Checkpoint. I don't need that. I'm feeling cocky again. Not that I have much money to lose, honestly, but... Of course, it just takes one misstep, and that's it. Suddenly, I should have taken the checkpoint. Well, not necessarily. I might be able to get more money in another, you know, go through the stage after all. Hey. I got coins and probably still knocked him into the, uh... Lava, judging by the direction he went, right? Probably. I like that when Wario wears the bull hat when he touches down, the whole screen shakes. I like to think it's not because of his hat, but it's just because he's so fat. Is it really worth it? No. I mean, look at us right now, Wario. Look at what position we're in. We're suspended over pits- No! 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 This is like a gambling game, I see now. This is how they get you ca casinos. They make you think occasionally you're gonna win. It's like they give you this little trail of occasional mild success so that when you have the crushing setbacks, for example, death, it's enough to like, to fool you. No! Ugh. No! I hate that. After he does the ground pound, you can't jump immediately. That's what I just learned the hard way, twice. The stupid, awful... ...island. I hate... I blame this on the pirates. It's their fault. Yeah, you. It's cause of you. It's cause of all these ducks. Alright. You darn pirates. No! You see that? I almost fell, because Wario did the ground pound, but then, when I thought he would jump, he didn't jump. Because that's just how this stupid thing works. Ugh, whatever. You know, it wasn't really worth going down, was it? Risking our lives for that, was it? Especially when we can just do this. Hey, ducko. You doing okay, bud? Not- no, you're not. You're really doing poorly. I was going to skip the checkpoint and have one of those will he ever learn moments. Um, but no, apparently the answer is occasionally I'll take the- I'll take the hint. I'm trying to remember, is the Pedubus the fireballs or are they- are they like Pedobos or something? Or like- or which one is like the string of fire that appears sometimes? No! I'm glad I took the checkpoint, but what happened? You saw that. In what way did he let go of the ladder? I don't, I don't, I don't see it. 
His sprite is like so big it seems to be obstructing my view of what's supposed to be going on. At least that's what I'm gonna say, blaming it on the game design rather than on just the sort of general state of being terrible that this place is. Of course, most of life is terrible. And that's why Wario seeks the, you know, the high he gets from getting tons of treasure. Might be worth it. You know, I'll now take it, yeah. Hey, it, there we go. I see, his feet have to be on the ladder. Just his hands, that, nah, that's not enough. Uh, okay, keep going. Up we go. Yeah, fireballs. Jumping around like this is a Koopa Fortress. I've been through my share of those in my day. You know, I've been through some. Now, I don't think that Wario has been through too many. Now, on this very channel, he did go through some of one of Bowser's fortresses in Super Mario 64 DS and got gathered coins there. But that was then. Oh, there's still birds here, huh? I mean, I do feel a little satisfaction knowing I'm locking them into lava to, like, burn up. Uh, I don't have any coins worth- I, I have a few enough that it's worth a gamble. I never get the good one. It really does feel like the odds are stacked against me. This point might as well. Is it gonna be this one? No! Is not. I see you always lose half of your coins. I... Can we even go again? No. We lost everything, but whatever. 15 coins, that's gonna be an incremental support to our gathering, you know, fortune anyway. Not that we're gathering a fortune, we're gathering very little. Oh, there's a, there's two exits, probably to get to that what looks like a fortress in the lava off to the uh, east. Okay. Oh, a minecart. Just what I wanted to see. It's not really a minecart, it's more just like a cart. No! Are you kidding me? No! <sighs> I really do think it's incredible in this game just how quickly things go completely wrong. Whatever. Where's that second exit, huh? No! I underestimate Wario's falling speed because he, he, for all his weight, he drifts down like a gentle feather. I think he really must, as I said in my first attempt, be wearing some kind of anti-gravity boots. Just, let's be honest here about that, clearly. The anti-gravity boots are a large part. That's actually how he's able to do these impressive jumps, despite his stubby legs and heavy weight and stuff, is because he's, it's not because he exercises so much and has like tough legs. It's because he's, um... No! God, again, again, twice in a row that was. Ugh. <sighs> This really is, like, the old game experience, you know? You gotta memorize the stages. And once you got them down... You know, it's not like in, say, when I'm playing Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, where there's room to recover. It's not like that at all. There's no room to recover. Speaking of that, I think that a wario Shantae crossover would be perfect. Way Forward should make the next Wario Land game, if there ever is another one, I mean. Which, yeah, I have to be on that damn cart which means I have to let that stupid demon hit me. I mean, I assume it's a demon. I'm just calling them demons, devils. They're little things with bat wings and horns. What do you want me to call them? Yeah, I guess that goes without saying that these pirates literally have demons working for them because they literally are from hell, like I thought. It's like that Alan Moore novel, From Hell. Except, eh, I mean, that's, it's okay, based on what I've heard about it. I shouldn't, what am I doing? I never read From Hell. I shouldn't be making that assumption. Maybe by the time this video is up, though, I will have read it! Hey. Garlic, I like garlic, I'll take it. I'll take these coins, too. And a jump! What the? What's this? Is this the alternate exit? No, it's just a checkpoint. Yeah, I'm not... No. No, I'm not- I don't need your- your filthy checkpoint. I'll- I'll make it through. And I'll find an alternate exit, even. You'll see. 
You doubt me now, don't you? But you'll all see. You'll all see. They said I was mad. But who's laughing now? <laughs> That's what Wario feels like. When he's gonna live in his castle, he's gonna get after all this. You'll see. No! Okay. Yeah? Okay. Where's that alternate exit? I My eyes are peeled. But so far, I'm seeing exactly zero alternate exits. Oh no. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, I don't know where that alternate exit was, but I certainly didn't find it, did I? All right. No, let's try that level again while it's still fresh in my mind, and I'll try and get the alternate exit. Because who needs sleep? This is already like some kind of weird, horrible nightmare, you know? I don't need... I don't need that sleep. It's not like WarioWare, which can be like a pleasant, horrible nightmare. You know, I mean, we've all... We, I have a lot of dreams that when you wake up, it's like that was really horrifying what was in that dream. But while you're asleep, you're not thinking of it that way. Not at all. Whatever. Nope! Not whatever! Not whatever! Maybe I should have taken the checkpoint. I mean, I would have lost it anyway, because, you know, I... Well, whatever. Let's just get this over with. This awful, painful chore of a video game. I hate it. This is terrible. Is what I'm going to be saying every second. This is the Mackerel Phones Complains. I could, I could call it Mackerel Phones Plays Wario Land, but I might call it Mackerel Phones Complains Wario Land! Why is Wario so floaty? It's very off-putting. He just doesn't look like the floaty type. He doesn't look like a lightweight marshmallow. He looks like a tub of lard. A waterfall of flab, to quote the Wario World instruction booklet. Where, like, that's what you say reading it. Like, what's that you say, says Wario. Like, my quads are, you know, like... I'm short and fat and my legs look like a water- No! Like I'm short and my- Like I have stubby legs and my quadruple chin is a waterfall of flab. And then he says it's just because you have your game in widescreen. It's misleading you. Depressingly, the instruction booklet is probably the best part of Wario World. Okay, a few of the trap music tracks are good too. But like, not much else. The instruction booklet has lots of funny stuff in it, but the game itself is just kind of unpleasant, you know? No! No, no, no! It kills us by dying! That's the... This... This... What? You know how... I'm... I can't even, like, talk anymore. It's, it's depriving me of my faculties for language. These demons really are demons. They've come straight from hell to torment us. That's what this is. That's why they don't care about dying, because they know they're just going to end up back where they came from. They're not afraid. That one isn't doesn't care. It's found the ultimate position from which to screw with us. No! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Made it! Nothing else can even hurt us after that. I say, jinxing myself. Boing. This time, we will use this. I have a feeling it's just going to be in our interests. If I can get across the, the pit. Wario's jump, it's not like Mario's jump. With Mario, you tend to have the feeling that no matter what, you can keep like, you know, your jump, like you, you have a big jump, you can compensate for it, you know? Like for not making a jump. Not with Wario though. It does not feel that way with him. It feels like every jump you're about to fall. Which I mean, I guess you are, strictly speaking, that's how jumps work. I like how Wario is so lazy, he can, like, hurt those enemies just by, like, 
Oh, yeah, we need to take the low roads here, right? Because that's how we're gonna get to that one special... Oh, no. There was that special, like, spring pad down below, right? Oh, yeah, it was here! Okay, this is how we're gonna get to the alternate exit, right? Yeah. Alternate exit? There you are. Hey. Worth the charge of admission. The price of admi admission. Not really. This island isn't worth any price. Which is why I'm glad we're looting it. By the way, what, what can we get in this game? What? I'll take I'll take course C of this meal. Bombs? What the? Oh, it's like a bit of a delay. Yeah, I'm sad too, Wario, but I didn't know how the game worked. What the heck? Oh, you wind up how long he hold- like, you hold down the button and that- Oh no, I see. There we go. I got something, right? There's a power meter. This is pretty elaborate, isn't it? A bit too elaborate, really. Alright, fine. This is probably was like a micro game in one of the WarioWare games, wasn't it? It should have been. That was a waste of time. That was absolutely not worth it at all. I'll never play that mini game again. Well, maybe I will if I begin feeling weird later. That's a pretty normal way to feel in this place. So, this is like a lava fortress we're about to dive into, right? It looks like it. It's rather ominous. It looks like just some buildings in the lava. Not sure how we got over here. Maybe that mountain, that shadow is hiding a bridge or something. Loot? Oh no. This is what we need to... You know, we're gonna be on the, on the road looking for a... Uh, for a key. Is it here? No, just garlic. Which normally would be a godsend, obviously, but... Hey. Want to, uh... No, it's not as profitable to just dump them in lava. That's not how you get profit. Dumping them in lava is how you don't get profit. It's a metaphor for how... Well, actually, no, you... I feel like... I, it's not, it's not, never mind. I was about to make some pretentious comment, like my, my trademark silly style, but no. No, I'm not. It's not also, it's it's not really a trademark. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on. I just, I'm just, I'm just tired. I just wish, I just wish something would go well for Wario for once. Let him win this one. Come on. What has he done to deserve this much? Oh, no. No. Yeah, this is nothing good for us here in this maze level. It looks like, I think we have extra time compared to usual here. And it looks like we're gonna need it, because it is a maze level. It's pretty amazing, honestly. Yeah, we're not gonna get through there, either. But you see, there's a puzzle where it might help you to be short Wario. Okay, um, what's on the other side of, well, probably something. Probably the key. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? No, like, legitimately, I think we have to get hurt and be small, Wario, to get through this- to get through this level. Or to get the treasure, anyway. If I don't get that treasure, it's not gonna really feel like I got through this level at all. I mean, if we're being honest here... Fine, I'll... Wario's even willing to demean himself like this, if it means he can get a bit of cash. Wario has no concept of things like dignity, integrity, and- oh, hold on, wait a minute. There was something else down here that I didn't need to do all that at all, did I? Nope. That was a complete waste of time. We did get to murder that thing, though. So that's good. I'm glad. At least when we're this small, it'll be easier to avoid these mines. And possibly even get- oh, here's the key. And a heart. 
The problem is, if we're not tall, we can't actually open the treasure chest. Which is really irritating. Um, and a thing that I wish was not in the game. But now that we are short, we might be able, in any case, to, uh, find another clove- Oh no, we left a clove of garlic back in the main room. Never mind, I have no interest in what other nonsense there might be through these doors. I'm here for treasure. Now we can get that treasure. I assume it'll be behind this door. That's where all the other treasure has been. It's been behind these scary looking skull gang-esque skull doors. Maybe the black sugar gang has something to do with the uh, skull, the skull gang. They're both gangs using dark magic and they steal treasures and they, well, whatever. It's probably not the same gang. The Skull Gang was like a supernatural, extra-dimensional cult. I don't even know what this thing is. Okay. Where was the exit? I legitimately forget. Where, where was that? Was it down here? I think it was through this door. No, it wasn't through this door at all. Hold on, where... Where was the exit? Was it that first door down here? Maybe? I don't think it's any of these upper doors. With this weird patterns on the walls. Is that a naturally occurring thing or did they paint that on, you think? I don't know. Pirates might have painted it on. Maybe they have a certain aesthetic sense after all. How much m how many coins are the are the treasures worth though is my question. Um Away we go. I probably should have played that gambling game. Other than Wario Land, I mean, that which is also a gambling game. Actually, no. I was going to go back and look for earlier treasures, but let's take out this boss first. Let's get it over with. The 25th course of our extensive banquet. I gotta stop doing that ground pound. I fell there because he didn't jump because he just ground pounded. What a, like, awful thing to do with your controls. To make you have this attack, and then you can't... Oh, w well, whatever. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Fireballs. I get it. There are a lot of them, yeah. At least no barriers of lava are chasing us. No! Uh, I feel like... It's when I make a comment about how, oh, things are beginning to slightly look up and there might be some kind of thing in this horrible island that isn't going to immediately kill us. It turns out, no, JK, there's nothing like that on this island. Practically every surface here is, this is survival horror. We're being hunted with only barely, with, like we barely have any way to meaningfully fight back. Charge! Okay, we made it. This is unbelievable, honestly. No, there we go. Imagine if then you had to get back up, huh? That would be that would be a nightmare. I guess checkpoint. Yeah, I'll throw the coins down the toilet. Wario likes toilets. Oh. They probably don't like him so much, though. Oh, no. No! There we go. Oh, no! No! Yeah, I guess the checkpoint might have been a worthwhile investment, even if I lost all the coins. And, well, I mean, I guess it was a worthwhile investment because there's going to be a boss. After that gauntlet, there's a boss. Great. This is the best... This is terrible. This is not the best. Now, admittedly, if it's anything like every boss except the penguin, we should be able to get a lot! Ugh. Oh! This is horrible. I should be able to get a lot of coins, I mean, from the penguin. This is, this is what... This is made to, like, dissuade kids from becoming criminals, right? 
Because if you're a gangster, this is what your life is going to be. It will never be happy. And it'll always look slightly silly. Someone will always be laughing at you. That's just how it is. Uh, if you're a gang- God! No! No! It's like a pixel-perfect Mega Man platforming that last jump! <sighs> Why am I playing this game? Did I lose a bet? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe I lost a bet. Or maybe this is just karma. Maybe only bad people are allowed to play Wario Land. I mean, as much as I loved Wario Land 3 and Wario Land 4, and like, I'm always eagerly anticipating the fabled hallowed day when Nintendo may release another Wario Land game, which will probably never come, but you know, I mean, I shouldn't say that. Nintendo... Nintendo is nothing if not surprising. Like, rebooting Donkey Kong Country. Who saw that coming? It could happen with Wario Land, you know, maybe in like a decade, there will be another Wario Land game. You know, it's... It's like, physically possible. Or Nintendo does things like they have a trailer, like, and they're like, big event that they're building up to is that Cranky Kong is going to be playable in a game. Oh no, I should not have put that spike nose goom guy there. Here. Thank God that it registered that as being... No, go down. There we go. Now it's dead. It's proof that the monster is dead forever. What boss are they gonna throw at us? I hope it's an easy boss. If it's not, I swear, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, it's a scary boss. Great. No! How do we hurt it? Okay, you know, I'm gonna pause this game and just look this up. I'm not gonna lose at this point. We know it's one of the pirate gang that has a skull on its forehead, by the way. That's what I've noticed, is that's the symbol of the Black Sugar Gang, is they all have a skull on them. Well, anyway... Oh, I see, he's trying to break the... Ah! See, did you see that? That didn't... Okay, I see, when this, the, when they first shoot out, they're like, going to hurt you. But after they're out for a few seconds, then they, they know, like, after the second bounce, they stop hurting you. Come on, man! More- oh no! Okay. Just in one more, man. Give me this one! No! No! Okay. Good! Oh, coin! No, I missed all those coins! This is pathetic. It's cause- he, he, Like, he, he destroyed the exact spots where I needed the- Needed to have- be able to get the coins. Even in death, he spites me. I hate that thing. I hate that thing so much, I feel like looking this up on the Super Mario Wiki to see what it's called. So let's see... Super Mario Wiki Lava... Uh, no, it's what's it called? Stove Canyon, I think? Might be Oven Canyon. No, it is Stove Canyon, huh? And the boss here is, uh, oh, we're at the teacup itself. That's the pirate's, uh, pirate ship. Okay, the giant face monster is called Hoonfoon. Where did the Black Sugar Gang even get this guy? Well, I guess we're gonna go through the SS teacup first course here, shall we? All right, this is some more groovy kind of music. How are we gonna... I wish I hadn't taken out that bird, though. That's exactly the kind of thing I need. See, there's another one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's gone. Great. I blame this on you, you goon. I could feed you to those little piranha plants. Never mind. I mean, I literally fed you to a living thing anyway, so... I'll literally, like, let- I'll literally sell your body to be eaten as meat if it means I'll get money. 
I guess they're just trying to accurately show um, the state of morality in our economy. In a system that completely prioritizes money above everything else. Oh, hey. No! It's amazing. It's, it's, you're, it's always so high stakes. You're always on the brink of, like, absolute, like, destitution. Or not destitution. Well, in real life you are. I mean, here it's incredible because you're always on the absolute brink of, like, such a complete, uh, defeat. What the? Hello? What was that thing? Oh! I see what that thing is. No! Ugh. Okay, come on, Wario. This has got to be the worst place. Yeah, those are like flies that are getting out of our way. I mean, it's a nice change of pace from the usual flies getting in our way and everything getting in our way and trying to kill us, you know, what I'm used to here, but it still kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Let's go. <laughs> he laughs when he, you know, gets that, and then his treasures twinkle. All right, before we do this... I mean, I know we're here for that, um, statue of Princess Peach and everything, but first, what we're gonna do is we're going to go for a, uh, to this stage with the alternate exit. First of all. This seems so simple compared to what I'm accustomed to. Look, there's even, like, a pretty... pretty clouds... Yeah, this definitely was not here before, this door. The main thing is, we just can't take damage between now and when we get the key. Uh, hold on, we have to... We're, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna need this, uh... Dragon pipe, I'll call it. To... Get it, because it's in the, one of these underwater blocks. Not that one, clearly. It must be in this one, then, right? Yeah. Come on, Key. We got places to go. I guess we're gonna key off. No! No! Get the key. Get the key! Alright, we got the key is the important thing here. Now we just need to find another item that will give us... Um like a clove of garlic or anything that can let us open the chest. It really is brutal how utterly unempowered Wario is after getting hit just once. Like, the difference between Wario cleaning everyone's clocks in seconds and not. It's just like one... like you punch him once. But what happened here? Like, why is it that the, this area of the island is so transformed? It's something... like, what happened? I mean, something must have happened. I think it must be that switch we pressed on Mount Teapot. Though I'm not sure why it would have, like, changed the way things work here. Also, these barrels are remarkably close together, um, to work the way they are. Like, the barrels are so close together that- oh, actually, I know, there was a, uh, oh no. Down here in this pit, right, there was a garlic. Yeah, right here. If only- there was another garlic. Then we could easily take out all those crabs up above and have no difficulty at all getting back to where we want to be. Huh. But as it stands, we can't ground pound. Even though you think we'd be able to, I mean, clearly what's going on is the bullhorn hat makes Wario magically heavier. Which I suppose isn't that shocking, um, because magic? He's, he's very, he's like much lighter weight than he really is because of the anti-gravity boots that Dr. Krygor developed for him. Since, I think that when Dr. Krygor was introduced, we're told that he like developed uh, weapons, or not weapons, he developed gadgets for Wario. And apparently built the Wario car, for example. 
It would sure be great if that was in a Wario Land game, or any game where Wario is just having an actual adventure beyond running a shoddy video game company. Well, that's the thing, for the story, it's supposed to be a shoddy video game company, but in reality, the WarioWare games are quite nice games. You know, they're high-quality video game series for the most part, although at this point, I do rather feel like they've sort of done everything they can do with that. All right, what are we gonna get here? A horn, maybe? I think it's a horn. It certainly seems like a horn to me. I might even say it seems, uh, horny, but that would be an inappropriate pun to make. Even though it's true. Okay, whatever. Let's get out of here. This awful... Well, I you know, the clouds are pretty and the music is pretty. It makes it feel like we're in a sort of wondrous place, instead of what we're really in. In fact, maybe this could be a wondrous place if there only weren't all these challenges. Wouldn't this video game be so much better if there was no difficulty at all? And you just walk from left to right with nothing getting in your way? That'd be the best. In some way, though, I actually do sincerely think I pref would prefer a, um... Sort of pure platformer. A platformer where there isn't- there aren't enemies, there's just platforming. I suppose in, uh, Kneet Underground was something like that, wasn't it? There were enemies, but they weren't really enemies. They were like obstacles we had to overcome. Which in effect is what these hermit crabs are, but the difference is- the difference is this feels very punitive if you screw up. Whereas, of course, Kneet Underground... Well, I mean, that do it does not feel punitive. In Kneet Underground, you know, it always felt like... It always felt like the game is sort of on your side in a way. And this was the area where those horrible waterfalls were, and we couldn't get to the alternate exit, and now it's flooded. So yeah, there's definitely, the environment definitely, definitely has changed here, for sure. Which adds a non-linearity to it that, once again, strongly distinguishes this from Mario. It's like the opposite of a thing you'd see in a Mario game. I guess that's what distinguishes Wario. And this is also that stage I got to the first time I tried this game, right? Yeah, it is. Delicious. That hat I just ate, I mean, is delicious. Alright, so. What? Why didn't I hit that in time? I totally hit it in time. I know I did. I must have just hit it from the wrong side or something? Yeah, clearly. We're gonna have so many coins. It'll be glorious, truly. I know we're just stealing coins from defenseless crabs who are, like, scared of us. They're, like, trembling, hiding in the sand. Which is, when I first saw them, I was a little freaked out. I was like, is that some sort of... What is that? Is that, like, a giant, like... No! Is that, like, a giant antlion that's gonna eat us or something. But they come back, so that's how you'd know this is really is a purely bonus level. And I really am, you know, I really do appreciate that they come back. I really do. We even have these blocks and stuff around. And I guess it is nice that Wario doesn't run in a way. Because unlike with Mario, where I have to strain a finger constantly holding down a run button, nothing, nothing like that here. Just the... just the lapping ocean shore and the clouds in the sky above. It's a rather lovely place when you think about it. Even if we do have to call, you know, spend a few coins to get out of here, I think it's been worth it. Well, now where do we go? I'd like to think we've gotten everything on Rice Beach, so... Oh, I noticed there's a skull symbol has been replaced with the Wario- No! 
Get out of here, Wario. We don't want to go here yet. Oh, we can go through those doors. I forgot you press the back button to get out of the area. So, let's go here. Right? There's gonna be some kind of something here, right? Yeah. Um, I think so. I mean, there's definitely more here. Look at all those levels with multiple exits. There are two of them, in fact. Let's go. We gotta find our alternate exits, right? And hopefully get some more loot. I mean, that's our main goal, honestly. I say as I take out all these enemies in exactly the way that guarantees I, they don't drop coins. You know, a much better way to get Wario would be if those guys just stood still with their spear-pointed noses stuck through the walls, but they don't, do they? I mean, it makes you wonder if they really don't want to get Wario. If they're just kind of, on some level, doing a lip service. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be ca casting aspersions on them like that, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? No! I'm just gonna look at a freaking walkthrough. Um. Okay, it looks like the next course will actually take us... It's... It looks like this multiple exit will just take us to a level we've already been to, but this one might take us somewhere different. I guess they figure if you're here, you're gonna know how to look for secret exits, right? Ugh... Wait, hold on. Never mind. Sorry, I was looking- I saw the walkthrough and I thought that I missed a treasure in this stage, but this was the stage where I got the shield. So nope. Did not... Miss... Ugh. A treasure at all. The walkthrough also calls these guys penguins, which might explain what I'm looking at here. You think they're penguins? I, I mean, I can see it. Look at all those coins we're not getting. Also, why are there axes on the walls? Am I the only one who's curious about that? I mean, this is an ice area. Why axes? Well, whatever. But wait, hold on. Oh, there really was a secret exit. Now this is my kind of secret. Of almost breaking the map kind of secret. Hi guys, it's me, Wario. Hello? Anybody home? Oh no. Okay, you, you've thrown your, um... There we go. So, Wario, raise your hand and throw some coins into the coin machine. We do not have many coins. I think it might be worth our while to, uh, gamble again. You know, to whatever extent, as I've said before, this whole game isn't a gamble. Left or right? Left or right? Left. It will never work. It will literally never help us out doing this. This one again. That one again. I'll do it again. This is my last try. It won't be this one three times in a row, surely. Yeah, it will. You know, this isn't a 50-50 odds. Somehow the odds are always stacked against us. They're never on our side. Yeah, one coin. That's worth our time. Okay. Now, this looks more like what I'm expecting from this place. Um... You think there's gonna be treasure here? I certainly assume so. No, this is a, uh... Oh, hey. Oh, God. No! I- did you see that? I already bounced on it! Why didn't it- Oh, there's gonna be treasure in this stage, that's for sure. <sighs> oh! This is exactly what I wanted to get. 
I'm glad I have it, honestly. Um, what's through here? A key? I hope? Maybe? Oh no. Probably some very different kind of thing, right? Yeah, like, no! Wario! Jump! You see, on the ice, he also takes a second to start moving. Oh, wait for this awful, awful porcupine demon. There we go. And now we're even making some coins off of them. Which is what I want. I feel like I've probably already missed the, um... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I did not miss the key at all. Is there gonna be another switch through here? No? Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, I might as well just try and take these, I guess, but I didn't get the key. Oh, this is where I'm going to suffer for not getting the key, because I'm going to have to go back up. Well, fine. I'm prepared to do quite a lot in the name of getting treasure. Oh, they don't fall down the ladders. Or they do, actually, but they don't hurt us anymore once they've done that. Well, come on. There we go. I think I already took out the one on this level. Yeah, I did. I should have taken as many as I could out if I'd realized what was gonna happen. I mean, I'm glad these ladders are here. I thought I was gonna have to, like, climb into the cubbies with these skull forehead freaks. Which, by the way, I'm calling them not because I- I'm calling them that not because I think they're freaks, but just because, like, it seems like the kind of insult you would- you would hurl at a, um... You know, just some kind of monster. All right, come on, Key. Let's get out of here. Key? You're the key to my success. Um... Uh-oh. There we go. I was afraid I was gonna have to take a bit of damage. It's a good thing Mario can balance this thing on his head, huh? I think it was this way. This- I think this is the- yeah, here we go. No. There we go. Oh, we don't need to throw it into it, we can just touch it. I'm glad. So I came all this way for a... Oh, a magic lamp! I assume that's what that is. It could just be a normal oil lamp. Oh, I still missed one before this? Ah, well... Very well. Maybe I do want to get the other secret exit that I thought the walkthrough indicated doesn't really matter. I mean, maybe it does really matter, and I just misread the walkthrough. Very possible. This is probably the exit, right? Oh, no. It might be after we hit this, though. Yeah, we haven't been here. I mean, look at all these coins. You think Wario would have left that many coins here? No. No! No, no, no! Oh, God. Okay, this is good. Really, those are the most deadly enemies. A bunch of random porcupines are more deadly than the actual pirates. You know, what a pathetic, pathetic operation. You know, these got these gangs gangs running here, you know, when that's their when they're in that state of affairs. Ah, uh, hold on, here we go! Hey. Good. Alright, what's up here, huh? Take him out! Yeah, good. And what's through here, anyway? Oh, just this? Nah, wasn't worth my time, really. Was it? As long as I'm not jumping over pits of lava, you know, it's not like it's gonna get worse than this place. There we go! That's what I've been trying to do to it. Nope! I'm surprised that charge didn't hurt that porcupine. Well, anyway. It's a very- it is a very different flow and feel and rhythm than a Mario game. It's like- oh no! It's completely transformed, honestly. See, I did not need that checkpoint at all. 
I probably should have jumped the gap and got grabbed those coins though, but I, I didn't. Need oh. We still need to get treasure E though, don't we? I guess we're gonna get to treasure E from the alternate exit from course number 15, even though I had a rough time here. This wasn't my favorite course of the meal. On the contrary, I, I would even say I dislike this particular course of the meal. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it looks like the exit in this level might be hidden be behind the normal exit. I guess these is, these uh, switches are reminiscent of the Switch Palace switches from, say... Um, oh, that's right, I no longer have my bull cap that made me, like, invincible, do I? On the contrary, I'm very much not invincible now. I just miss the ground pound. It's the ultimate move for dealing with these chumps. No! Not good! Chump! I made it, and okay, here's our secret exit. Okay, no. Wait till it throws its scimitar. I say it as if it's like not clearly alive. Like, not clearly a person, even. I mean, yeah, it's a duck person, but it's a person. And through here, the exit, please. No. I just want the exit. You see? That's all I'm asking for. Oh, God. Look where the exit is. Well, at least that penguin's out, or penguin, that duck. Uh, there's gonna be another switch in here, right? Yeah, there is. Seemed like it was shaking the whole map, though. Okay. Now I can get all this precious stuff down here, huh? Even a heart, even though I don't think I really need it that much. It's strange that the exit doors are like obstacles that Wario bounces off of, though. I mean, am I the only one who thinks that's strange? Well, whatever. Let's get out of here with our 79 coins. It's a comparatively good haul for how we've normally been doing, isn't it? And I have a feeling this will lead to another level that'll have another treasure of its own. Probably. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, it's underwater. Well, let's die of hypothermia. Wario's immense layers of blubber must protect him from the co What the? Oh, no. It's like a Lakitu, but worse. Not what I want to deal with, you know? Not at all what I want to deal with. It's still, I mean, I admit it is a unique, like, challenge for this level. There's certainly been no other stages so far with anything like this in them. There we go. A break, I, I think. What even is this area, though? Like, what it... Oh, darn it. Uh, well, I probably just lost the level, didn't I? But it might be worth it to, like, look around in here a little longer. Um, what's through here? Is it a exit or is it a key or gonna be something like that, right? No. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is nice, too. Glad I oh, yeah, it's the key. So this is gonna be another treasure chest-centric stage. I just need to be- not be so impatient. You know, I just need to- to not be quite so impatient. Just crawl back down, Wario. We'll be fine. We have a key. And that's the key to our success. No! Well, I mean, yeah, it is the key to our success, but like I said no because of the bird. I really didn't want that bird to screw us over! Wow, I 
Anyway, I'm glad we got away from that cloud. You think it being a cloud, it could just say fly over that, like, that, like, thing it got caught on? But apparently not. Oh, wait, no, there's another cloud. I just hope we find the treasure chest up here. Oh, we just took it out completely. No! Okay. We just need to get them from below. Is it the key that's doing that? Oh, really? Really? Bye. I am so upset. I was hoping that would be the chest. But instead, what do we got? Disappointment. That's what. Can it even... No, it cannot get us through these, like, little blocks here. I mean, I'm grateful, but... Also, is it just me, or does it have, like, a string hanging from it like it's a lamp? I think it does. That's a little odd. I'm not used to seeing clouds powered... They have, like, a little pull string on them like that. It's probably some kind of cloud lamp. Oh, no. No! I freaking hate this game. This is so frustrating. This game is like... They could have just called it Irritation, and it would be just as accurate of a title. Ugh. Always a gamble. You're always gambling in this game. Every step you take is another one that could be your blast. I guess Wario, in a way, does have a very exciting, high-stakes life. I mean... It's not like, say, Mario, who at least in his exciting, high-stakes life is, say, fighting bad guys. I mean, Wario kinda does, too. Most of the Wario Land games end up, like this one, are concerned with him sort of... No! It's because he gets caught on the frickin' ladders and you can't get... It's because he's too tall, his sprite's too big, and it's too picky about what, about what he can get past and not. Well, I guess, I mean, it's, it's been made up for, because we have this hat now, but... Just fall. Just get out of here, Wario. Let's get out of this, off this awful island, and back to some place that isn't just horrible. Like, you know, there, well, the problem is everywhere is pretty horrible, because it's like, exists in the world. But like, you know... They don't have to be quite this in-your-face about it all the time. It's usually a little more subtly hidden than this. The horribleness. And there's another... Oh no. This is gonna be, like, harder with... Look, let's leave the key there and then smash our way through these, uh, barriers. Right? We could, like, the key... I know I've complained about the game's lack of object permanence before, but I think it does maintain object permanence when it comes to having, to things like the keys, right? I certainly am under the impression anyway. Run, run, run! Run, 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 Yeah. I was right to feel that way. The music is so laid back and, like, slow compared to Super Mario music, too. Which, you know, is, I'm sure, part of the weird subversion going on here. Okay, do we really want to... The reason I'm even looking around in this room is this could very easily be where the uh, treasure chest is, you know? It's not just for all these coins. I mean, I love coins and gladly accept them all, too. Don't get me wrong, that's also part of it. Um, well, yeah, we'll get the coins from this bunch here while we're at it, even though there are other coins to get. Look at, like, how much this sprite is, like, twitching. It, it, it's a little horrifying looking. Oh yeah, this is where the treasure is. So while we're in here, we might as well make the most of it and try and get all these coins, too. Because, I mean, look, this is a ton of coins. Thanks, Mr. Robot. Please stay there and wait for me while I go in here and get my treasure, okay? Oh, it's a lantern? I... I think? I 
I think it's a lantern, right? What, what is that thing? Is it a bell, maybe? I thought it was see-through, though, so I think it is a lantern. Oh, no, it didn't wait for us. Well, here we go. Perfect. Okay. I don't like this one bit. There we go. And this will be the way to the exit, right? Come on, we have all these coins and so much treasure. We can't lose it now. I think it's honestly better to encounter these things underwater than above water. Because when you're above water, they like stick to you. You know? You notice that? I've noticed that. Uh... Yeah, I know, Seahorse, I know. You wanna- you wanna kill me. This island just doesn't give you- What the- It's like a dolphin or a piece of tuna carrying a harpoon gun. Well, whatever, let's get out- or wait, a piece of tuna? It's not a piece of tuna, it's a whole- It would be a- it would be a living tuna. That's like seeing a human and being like, Oh look, it's a piece of human. It's not that it's wrong, per se? But it sure is an odd thing to say. It's kind of like, if, as I said earlier, if you called it a piece of garlic instead of a garlic clove. Okay, so they all do link together the levels here. Well, we already beat that penguin pirate, so let's get out of here.